Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome to the future of connectivity, where sustainability meets innovation. In this groundbreaking tutorial, we are diving into the realm of solar power back-to-back -back wireless bridge installation. Imagine extending your local area network to remote location completely off the grid and using the power of the sun. In the pursuit of expanding network connectivity and fostering sustainability, the importance of extending the land coverage using solar power solution and outdoor wireless bridges cannot be overstated. This project is driven by a commitment to overcoming geographic constraint and promoting eco-friendly alternative for seamless connectivity. The hardware and tools essential for this solar power land extension compress a meticulous list. A solar panel stands as the backbone, capturing the and converting the solar energy to power the network extension. And also batteries and charge controllers, vital components, store and regulate energy, ensuring a continuous power supply even during period of low sunlight. And outdoor wireless bridges form the connectivity hub, facilitating the transmission of data over extended distances without the need for cabling. And mounting hardware and weatherproofing materials provide durability, safeguarding the component against environmental elements. And each component play a distinct role in harmonizing technology with sustainability. Solar panel harnessing renewable energy, batteries ensuring uninterrupted power, and wireless bridges enabling connectivity in remote location. So in this comprehensive integration of hardware and tools, the solar power land extension project not only extend network coverage, but also set a precedent for eco-conscious solutions solution in the realm of connectivity. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and behind me is our setup of today. And establishing a resilient solar power system requiring careful consideration and meticulous setup to ensure optimal performance. Connecting with the selection of the right solar panel and batteries is paramount. And this evolves evaluating the specific need of the project and considering factors such as energy requirement and available sunlight and connecting those panels to the charge controller to ensure a regulated flow of energy to the batteries. And charge controllers play a pivotal role in optimizing the charging process, preventing overcharging and extending the lifespan of the batteries. So the integration of batteries into the system is the final crucial element, providing a stable and uninterrupted power supply. This battery stores surplus energy generated during peak sunlight hour, ensuring a consistent power source even during period of no sunlight. So here we have two pair of our wireless bridge. Those are the 5 GHz 802.11 AC outdoor wireless bridges, and they pair in the application at outdoor harsh environment where are hard to access to network to get high speed and safe network with a long distance. And also it is especially designed to extend the network transmission range by building high speed point to point or point to multiple point wireless communication to provide network for remote IP devices deployment. And you are able to set up a wireless connection at a maximum of 900 megabit per second transmission rate within 3 kilometers transmission range with no obstacles in between. Besides, you can match the wavelength of each bridge easily by only pressing a single button without complicated configuration on the web. So next we are going to do the connection together. So first I'm going to connect the solar panel to our charge controller. This pair is from our solar panel. Let's plug it in our charge controller. The negative and the positive. And then we're going to connect our battery to the charge controller. Doing the same thing negative and positive. 
Here we go. So now it's getting power from our battery. We have two power output. Let's plug in one of them, which is this pair of the wireless bridge. It has a 12 volt power input. And this is our reset button. We are going to use this to configure the number on the back. I'm going to turn it around. So here we go, we have the number is on. I'm going to press the button and go ahead to change the number of the channel. So now we are on channel one, tilling this back toward our bridge over here. And this bridge is already powered up. All we need to do is plug in the ethernet cable that connected with our bullet camera. Just like this. And this is on M, the other one is on S mode. Again, I'm going to press the button to change the number. So now it's on channel zero. I'm going to press the button to change it to channel one. So it will match with the wireless bridge on this side. Make sure they're on the same line of sight with no obstacles in between. So this pair, we are done. Now we're going to work with the other pair of the wireless bridge. But first, we are going to connect this bridge back to back together using an ethernet cable. Plug in this switch with this one. And then I'm going to use another power output to connect with it. Remember, from our charge controller, we have two power output. So one for here and the one for the one on the back. This is on S mode. Let's look at the back. Here we go, we have channel nine. So let's stay at channel nine. And then going over to the other wireless bridge, we are going to set that channel to channel number nine. First, I'm going to plug in the ethernet cable to the bridge and then connect with the PoE switch later on. Let's configure the channel first. This is on channel eight now. So I'm going to press the button. So it's on channel nine. Again, make sure they're facing each other. Coming over here, we are going to connect our bridge to our Westmart PoE switch. And then we're going to connect the router to our switch and also using another short patch cord to connect the router with the NVR so we can watch the live video feed on our monitor. As you can see, the video feed is on the monitor instantly using two pair of the wireless bridges and one, two of them are facing back to back with each other. And I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is absolutely a live video. So the whole connection is done. And here are some valuable tips to enhance the success of your end over. First and foremost, ensure a clear line of sight between two nearby bridges to optimize signal strength. And any obstruction in the line of sight can diminish signal quality and affect the overall performance of the network extension. Additionally, protecting the equipment from environmental factors is crucial for longevity and reliability. Implementing DIY weatherproofing technique for antennas and solar component can be a cost-effective solution. And also consider using weather with system enclosure or coating to shield the equipment from the elements and ensuring continual functionality in diverse weather condition. Last but not least, regular maintenance check on the weatherproofing measure can further enhance their effectiveness.
and we value your thoughts, insights, and feedback. Whether you have questions, suggestions, or simply just want to share your experiences, your comments are important to us, and your input help us grow and improve, creating a community where ideas and perspective can be shared. So feel free to leave any comments below. And thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you in the next video.